Today's video is on Genesis 6 through 9, the story of the flood. And before we jump into that, we gotta go for a little field trip because it's just way too nice today. We're riding along the Templeton Gap floodway. This was built in 1949 by the Army Corps of Engineers. It's really designed to prevent flooding in Colorado Springs. One of the worst of those was in 1935. They had over 24 inches of rain in six hours. If you consider that Colorado Springs on average only gets 14 inches of rain a year, to get 24 in six hours would have been overwhelming for the city. There are still signs of this flood along Fountain Creek, like these old bridges that got washed away. You can still see evidence for that flood besides just the Templeton Gap floodway, but you have these old bridges that got washed away back in the 1935 flood, and the remnants of them are still standing. This one's pretty good. Most of them, you just have the piers still standing to this day. Fountain Creek was over 30 feet higher, they estimate, during that flood, and downtown Colorado Springs has marks where it was over 10 feet high on some of the buildings. All told, over 100 people in Colorado Springs in the area lost their lives in that flood. Okay, enough local history. Let's dive into some primordial history and look at the story of knowing the flood in Genesis 6 through 9. First, I gotta get home. <laughs> 